According to the United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS, Philippines has been ranked as one with the fastest growing number of human immunodeficiency virus or HIV cases in the world. As of November 2018, approximately one to two Filipinos are diagnosed as positive in just an hour. It is said that misinformation about HIV contributes to its rapid spread of infection among our fellow men. This morning, we will talk about the symptoms of HIV and its treatment and prevention with the help of medical experts, only here in Doctors on TV. Today's guest is an infectious disease specialist. He is the head of adult infectious disease tropical medicine in San Lazaro Hospital. He is also a fellow of Philippine Society of Microbiology and Infectious Disease and Philippine College of Surgeons. Let us all welcome Dr. Ron Jean M. Solande. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes. Thank welcome you. to Doctors on TV. Today we are going to have, uh, talk about this very, actually it's a sensitive uh, topic that a lot of people have questions about it, is HIV. So um, can you explain like what is HIV? Yeah, HIV, HIV itself is the virus, no? the human immunodeficiency virus. And the infection is what we call the HIV infected individual or those in the late stage of the infection, we call it AIDS the acute immune deficiency syndrome. Mm -hmm. So it's an infection that usually destroys the immune system mm -hmm. of an individual. Mm -hmm. And that's why most of those who got the infection will usually manifest with several infections and not necessarily because of the HIV. HIV, yeah. So HIV is totally different with AIDS. Yes. Uh, because HIV mm. is the virus, mm. the AIDS, AIDS is the stage mm. of the infection, the, late, the, the, stage of the late stage of the infection. Uh, how do a person can get HIV in the first place? Okay, so the general information is that it is transmitted through sexual contact. Mm. Since the virus is mostly concentrated in the semen of uh, male mm. and then vaginal secretions of female, those are the two most important, highest load of virus concentration. So that's also when you have contact with a male or with a female, if you have the virus, then the only way you can get the virus is through sexual contact. The second is you can also get it if you are pregnant and then if you are positive, the baby can get the infection while you are pregnant, while you are carrying the, the baby, while the mother yeah. is carrying the baby. So we call that the mother to child transmission, the mm -hmm. MTC. The third is IV drug use. Yeah. So when you are using drugs, yeah. IV drugs, the needle shared by another individual, then the virus can survive in the needle for minute, one or two minutes or five minutes, then that can also be the cause of the transmission. Uh, so is there also uh, the cause can be also by saliva or through saliva? Okay. No, uh, you cannot get HIV through kissing. Mm -hmm. You cannot get HIV through handshake hugging, or holding, yes. hugging. No, it's not, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the other preventive uh, things that we can do not to have an HIV? Of course, number no, one, you should yes. not be having multiple partners. Mm -hmm. You should know the status of your partner. Before, it's not only that I should have a single partner because we, we already have lots of these cases. They have a single partner, but and they don't know they the status of their of partner. The partner. Yes. Oh. Mm. So, so you have to check your partner. You have to check yeah. your Sometimes partner. You have, to, yes. you have to test your partner. No, yes. This is a reality. You yes. might be telling me, OA naman to si doctor. No, this is the reality because this is what, what's happening now. Isang partner mo sasabihin, hey, Kampante ako, I'm sure of my partner. Oh, not but, having the disease. Yes. But why did I develop the HIV? So it's coming from the partner. Mm -hmm. And what are the signs and symptoms that you will know, Agat, that this is? Or will you know it right away or it takes okay. time? Good question. Because when you get the virus, like for example, you get the virus now, mm -hmm. you don't develop the symptoms for several months or years. Oh, That's why yes. they don't know that they have the infection. Yes. 
Once you develop the symptoms, you are already in the late stage of the infection. So that's why it's important, early recognition. If you have high risk behavior, like you have two, three contacts in one year or, you know, you can't believe, huh? I have lots of these encounters with uh, those who are positive. They have 30, 40 contacts in a year. And they are yet 25 years old, 30, 30 years old, so young in their stage of life. And what are the signs or the symptoms? What is it that they The will most see? common signs and symptoms mm. among Filipinos is usually a pulmonary infection, like pneumonia. Mm. Pneumonia that becomes like, I have pneumonia now. After one month, I have again another pneumonia. After several months, I have another pneumonia. What's wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. Why are you, are you having recurrent pneumonia? Or a cough that doesn't disappear. <laughs> or fever, yes. on and off fever. And then some of them will just have manifestations like sudden weight loss. Mm. So they lose weight, mm. even when, they are, when their appetite is good, but they're losing weight, and their skin color changes, like that, it's That's becoming, our, the later Yes, onset, that, that's yeah, the yeah. dry mm. and uh, darker skin. If you got the virus doctor, do you um, are you infectious right away? Yes. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you don't have the symptoms. The the virus once you can, it enters the blood, uh, you can it will multiply other. like one thousand per hour. Hmm. One thousand per hour. How about like there are workers like for example they work like in the hospitals and they don't know like there is a needle and they're accidentally there is a needle who already used by an HIV patient and then just go on their in their hand what should they do they should like right away yeah, the, the the risk for that is so low mm -hmm. like only 1.1 percent that you will get the infection because it's coming from the needle mm -hmm. so the quantity of the virus there is so small to be transmitted to another person but you still have to wash your hand and you have to report to the to the to the doctor that you that, were that pricked. happened yeah. yeah you're pricked because they will document that and then you, they will test you, they will test the, the baseline, and then after two or three months, they will test again. Ah, uh, okay, so they will know if they get infected or not. Yes. What are the types of human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, and how is it treated? Stay tuned as Dr. Jean Salante shares the answer after a few reminders. Are there different type of HIV? Uh, there are se several genotypes of uh, HIV. No? So th there is what we call uh, a genotype that is unique in the Philippines, genotype that is uh, unique in Africa. No? But all of these are, all, are, are under the virus HIV-1. There's another HIV-2. So this is only confined in some areas in Africa. So these, mm. are, these are the behave uh, type of HIV, the progression to uh, immune suppression is not that rapid and progressive compared to HIV-1. It's less severe. Yes, it's less, less severe. severe here. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, in our country is more uh, uh, the HIV common one. HIV, the HIV type 1. one. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone has it in the family, they have to say it, right, to everyone or I mean, what do you... Mm, so? Well, that's the problem because yeah. the stigma that the virus created will always uh, not allow you to tell to your say, family because yeah. if you'll tell, I am HIV positive, they will always have yeah. other connotations like you are dirty, you have Having multiple lots of partners, yeah, partners, you may be able to con yes. uh, uh, give the infection to us. So those are the... Yeah the misconceptions of the families. Well, what can, uh, I mean, what are the treatment for the HIV? Okay, there's treatment now and in, in fact, most of those patients who will be taking the drug 
we live like just a normal uh, patient. Okay, so there are good examples of that, like uh, Magic Johnson, who is HIV positive, and until now he's still okay playing basketball mm. because the drug will suppress the virus, so it will not be able to destroy your immune function. So as long as you're taking the drug, the medication, you will you will live for. It will, this yeah. is lifetime. Lifetime, mm -hmm. yes, lifetime, mm. and it's give, given free by the government. Oh, okay. Mm. And then, how about if the person want to get married and have kids? Will that also affect the so family? So, if if, uh, if an HIV positive male and wants to marry the partner that is HIV negative, so there's also now what we call the pre-exposure prophylaxis. So the, the partner that is negative should also be taking the a child. drug mm -hmm. while they are living together and then they can, they can have baby that will be negative because the virus is not detectable already. So there is less possibility that the virus from the, the positive will be transmitted to the mother or to the partner. As long as the mother is, so there are two scenarios here. If the mother is HIV positive, mm. she will be taking the drug. She can still uh, conceive a baby that will be negative because she's taking the drug. Or if the mother is the contact of an HIV positive, as long as she is negative, then the chances are is that the, the baby will be negative. Negative. Uh, oh, okay. Well, who are the ones who are more prone to it? Now, in our country now, the 80 to 90 percent of newly diagnosed cases of HIV are from males who have sex with males. Mm. So we call that the MSM. Mm. They don't want to be called homosexuals because they don't like the connotation of uh, homosexual for, for political uh, uh, purposes. The politically correct term for them is the MSM. Mm. So when you say MSM, you have relationship with another man, and it's not just a sim simple relationship, there is also sexual contact. Yeah. And that's the majority for the past five years now. Why, why is our HIV increasing? It's because of this population. Mm. Now, the difficulty in, the, in this population, it's also very difficult to offer preventive measures like condom, because a study done by the, by the government before a lot of them doesn't want to use condom when they engage in sexual contact. Second, most of them do have multiple partners. So for example, these are two partners. Yeah. This one has multiple partners. This also has multiple partners. So you just can see the ramification that one partner will be infected, another will be infected. And most of the time, they don't know that they are infected. Yes, you won't mm, yeah. know who. So is it more prone to like to male than female? Yes. The uh, least likely we are not seeing female patients in the clinic unless they are wives and partners of the of males. The male. yes. mm. So if you have the virus talk and then you manifest all the uh, symptoms, um, what are the uh, possible complications? Okay, so in most of our patients, when you have, uh, when they begin to manifest one symptom like pneumonia, there will be also other manifestations from what we call head to foot. So from the head, you'll have infection of the brain, uh, meningitis, and then from the pulmonary, you have pneumonia. The most common is tuberculosis. Then from the abdomen, you have also infection of the abdomen, like uh, bacterial infection of the abdomen. And then in the skin, you'll have some changes in your skin. You'll have rashes. Mm. No? And then in your oral uh, cavity, you'll have also some lesions. Okay. But the early clinical manifestation of HIV, it's difficult to tell if you have HIV or not, mm. unless you're already in the late stage of the infection where you have severe weight loss, severe muscle wasting, inability to walk because of uh, they don't, their muscle is already wasted. They don't have muscles to support when they walk. And most of them are already bedridden. So when HIV is already uh, become AIDS or AIDS, is already the, uh, the patient uh, might already die or? Yes, 
Yeah, the chance of dying is really very high unless they will be given the drug. But again, even if they will be given the drug, it's really a 50-50 or less of that that they will survive. Mm. That's why the best part of treating a patient with HIV is when they are still asymptomatic, when they still don't have the symptoms. Mm, so yeah. like the, the advocacy now is if you have these risk factors, like if you have more than one partner, mm, yeah. you have to have your HIV testing. If you have a partner that is also male, the same, same gender partner, you have to have yourself tested. If you acquire sexually transmitted infection, you have to have an HIV test. Mm. If you knew that you have on, uh, uh, on and off uh, fever or pulmonary, recurrent pulmonary pneumonia, something like that, you have to have yourself tested for HIV. If you have tuberculosis. Uh, how about like tested. hepatitis? Yes, hepatitis. If you have hepatitis B or hepatitis C, you also have to be screened for HIV. Up next, learn where to get tested for HIV when Doctor is on TV returns. the places here that they can screen for yes. HIV? All government hospitals now are uh, has that capability to do uh, screening for HIV. Mm. So all hospitals, both private and government, there are also clinics, off-hospital uh, clinic can also di diagnose the HIV. So do we, uh, in Philippines, do we have a program that will give awareness to HIV and it and does it uh, help people to like lessen it or uh, lessen the number or it's like uh, how it's uh, going on with that? Yeah, so the, the current number one uh, goal now of the government is to increase the awareness of HIV AIDS in the country. Meaning uh, you have to put information how you can acquire HIV, how you can get the virus, what are the risk factors that you can get this because the, it's the only way, it's, the, it's that information that will only comes to your mind that ah, yeah, I have a partner that is male so I have to be tested myself. So b because of that awareness, most likely that's the reason why we were able to increase the number of our cases. The, the reported uh, ones. Yes, the reported ones. Number two, the availability of the HIV testing. You can have your test in a clinic without telling your true name. So mm. that, that's again the... So Another, another confidential yes it's confidential you just go to the clinic and then have yourself tested in some clinics they have this rapid test using uh, uh, urine or saliva but if you need to do a blood test for you to really confirm it if you have like a, uh, someone in the family who have HIV how can others uh, take care of themselves or because it's only through blood right yes. so it's uh, they can still be like normal, yes, so uh, hanging out. Yes, or, that's why when, when we yeah. have patients like that, I always uh, include the family yes, in the discussion. Yeah. The mother, the father, including the uh, siblings. No? That first thing first, our patient should not be discriminated. Mm, true. Second, HIV can only be transmitted through sexual contact. So you can share the utensils, mm -hmm. you can share food. You can uh, hug, you can kiss, or you can even sleep with them, yeah. no? so that they will not be discriminated. That's the reason why I think that one of the reasons why our HIV is increasing, because most of those who are positive doesn't like to tell their parents. Mm. They have they that hide. fear. They hide it, and even to their partners, they hide it to their partners. Mm -hmm. So it, it continuously... Being, being transmitted from one partner to the other. Because like, for example, I'll give you an example. This is a true example. I am positive. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell my, my partner, but we've been doing sexual contact for several months. My partner is potentially infected, mm -hmm. but he doesn't know that he has the infection. He also has another partner. And that another partner may be infected, which he doesn't know that this partner is infected. So that's the problem with it. 
So if you are positive, the most important thing there is that you have to tell your partner that you're positive mm. and then that partner should be tested. If he is positive, he has to tell his other partner. That he, so we call that contact tracing. You trace mm. all the contacts of all the partners coming from this first original partner. But the problem is most of them, they don't they tell. They don't do that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> they don't tell. <laughs> they will just keep it themselves because if they will tell according to them, they might be... The lo they lose the partner. They lose the partner or they will make it in the Facebook appear that this partner is positive. Don't, something like that. You stigmatize the... So, in fact, there are a lot of those who commit suicide, who has depression because of that. In your practice, though, can you talk about one of your experiences that you had and the person got better uh, from the yes, disease? Yes, majority of my patients now are getting better. Because uh, yes. I always, we always give them the medication, the antiretroviral, and it's so effective. And in fact, uh, the, that medication has really saved a lot of our patients, even if they are already in the clinical phase. But there are also really, really critical that even when you give the treatment. You know, what are the treatments that will be so given? So we, we we're giving the antiretroviral. We have the uh, first line, the second line. Although there, there, are, there are only a few of these in our availability, the selections, but it's still uh, effective. Are, are the medications like, expensive? No, yeah. it's given free, it's oh. given by, the free government. by the government. That's so like for example, if you're positive, mm. so you have to go to a government, we call this the treatment hubs. Mm, yes. So like in Quezon City, there's, there are the Bernardo Clinic, it's a treatment mm, hub. Yes. Yeah. Then you have here in Caloocan, we also mm. have here in Navotas, all of them. No? If you are a private patient, you don't like to go to a government hospital, there are also treatment hubs in Makati Med, mm. in the Medical City, mm. in St. Luke. So it's really nice. being made available by the government so that there will be no reason for you why will you will not go to the treatment. I think the, the, the clinics show STD instead of saying it's HIV hub. Yeah. So that's the more STD or STD it's just clinic. Like it's so it's so discreet that mm -mm. you won't recognize you won't it's know, a yeah. treatment hub mm -mm. for HIV because it can create a stigma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the um, preventive, like can you prevent from Yes, HIV? it can be prevented. It's a preventable disease. Yeah, it's a preventable disease. So I think the message here is know your partner, know the status, I mean know the HIV status of your partner, do not have multiple partners, be faithful to your partner. I think that's the mm -hmm. basic, yes. the basic. But again, I don't know because for the past years, <laughs> that basic information has not been mm -hmm. uh, observed yes. by yeah. those who are really are now positive. L let's be clear with this, no? Because there are misconceptions mm -hmm. that uh, the virus can be acquired through a bite of a mosquito. Okay, no, it can't because if a mosquito bites a patient that is HIV positive that virus will be, cannot survive in the mosquito. Mm, okay, okay, so there yes. is uh, an enzyme in the mosquito that, that can kill the virus. No? If the virus is exposed in the environment, like for example, if you have, if you have uh, the, the, the HIV positive will urinate or will use the comfort room, even if it's scattered with the it, it cannot be, but you just have to be careful because it's still important that you have to clean the, the, the ball, but it's not routinely acquired in that, in that manner. Or you share, same, you share the same, same glass, glass. Yeah. like you are drinking and then you share the same glass. It's not also possible because your saliva is, has an enzyme that will kill the virus also. How about if like they have uh, oral diseases, like um, if they have any gingivitis, like gum disease, and also it's, it bleed, right? And they're using a glass or spoon, uh, and the blood can still go. The, can that also? Yeah, the only way mm. that kissing can be an, an entry of the virus is that if the partner of an HIV positive has a wound, wound an under, open wound. Mm, on their gum. I think uh, our country is one of the, I think it's only the one or two countries now in Asia reporting a significant increase in the number of HIV. Okay? And it's not even 
going down. We are now reporting like 36 patients newly diagnosed a day. Wow. That's enormous. That's a lot. No? That's a lot. That's a lot. And I think the message here, the important message here is that if you are at high risk of acquiring the infection, please have yourself tested now. Because the only way we can trace all of those who are your partners so that we can stop the transmission. If you don't have the HIV yet and you have partners, please wear protective condom. Okay? Number three, faithful to your partner. As much as possible, we discourage multiple partners. Now, for those who are positive and you are in a family that seem you are afraid to tell them that you have HIV. You know? So, this is for the family. HIV cannot be transmitted ordinarily in the family. You know? But if you have an HIV member in your family, instead of stigmatizing them, you have to help them because they are still human. Yeah. And they can still be productive once they will be taking the medication. So the earlier that they can accept that they have HIV, the earlier that there will be acceptance from the family, you still can live harmoniously within your family, but the thing there is that do not stigmatize the patient so that they, the patient will, will be reformed in a way that he will not go back to his previous... Yeah. Uh, kailangan uh, niya ng support yes, din ng family. Yes, oh, kailangan niya. Just Ang like, ganda yeah. ng support. I have experience with my patients na mayroong support ng father and support ng mother. It's a very nice uh, ano, uh, yung development nila, yung growth nila. Because this is the dynamic now. No? Look at the patient. If you have a patient that is 20 years old and he will tell you, Mom, I'm positive. So if you're the mom, how will you react to that? I'll be devastated. <laughs> See? Yes. You'll be devastated. So you can't handle the, the fact that your son is positive. And look at your son also. He's only 20 years old and he will tell you, what will I do now? Should I commit suicide or should I see? Yeah. So those are some of the end, end, uh, uh, loose ends that you need to address also. So they need counseling. You should go to the doctor so that you'll be given the proper information. Because that's the reality now. In fact, some of our patients are as young as 15 years old, 16 years old. And they don't, as if they don't know what's going on with them and they have this infection. Yeah. The family support is important. You cannot get any support from other people. It's really your family. Thank you, Doc. Thank you very thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, yes. thank you.